Hi everyone, today is day 11 of our 30 days of the flowers and uh, we've got this one to do today. Now I decided to grab another set of castles. This is my seascape set, um, just for fun. I don't know um, how good they will be for flower colours, but why not? Let's have a go and see. Oh, there's a lot of interesting colours in here. There are, there's an orange and that strikes me right away just because we didn't do any orange in the row above. So uh, that's what I'm going to grab. Um, let me have a look. Yes, that and that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Talk away to me yourselves while I just have a natter to myself. So this is the Venetian red. I'm sorry as it's zoomed out, but uh, I can't really zoom much more in. I can't push my book back any further because of the tripod. So uh, this is the uh, best I can do. So this is the Venetian red, and I'm just going to put a tiny touch on the um, inside of each petal, the sort of where it meets the um, center of the flower. Can have some fun with that flower center in a bit, hopefully, if I've got some colors that I can use, which will work. Yes, I have. That's good. But we'll get the um, petals done first. So this is just a touch, it's just a little hint of colour really for us and then we're going to get in with the orange. So this is a cadmium orange and this is actually the only orange I have in this set. So it's uh, I'm going to cover over that bit of red and then take the orange right to the end of the leaf but I'm going to make it a gentler amount as I get to the edge. So more layers here, a few less, and then very much less there. I'm going to sharpen this pencil. The end is a bit too fat for my liking with regards to trying to stay in those little tiny lines. That's it. And I can put a little more here without, without worry, I suppose. Not that I worry too much about going out of the lines. No. Doesn't matter, does it? I don't think so. I've seen some adorable pictures where someone's little toddler or grandchild is drawn a bit on the page and some people find it really difficult to cope with and other people can make a feature of it and think it's adorable and it's like a sort of collaboration page. It's really difficult I think, it depends um, on what you're doing, the purpose of your picture and the book, you know if you're doing the book so you can give it away to somebody it might not really work if they're not if they don't know the child or you want it to just look really sort of perfect if it's just for you then you know maybe we should be a little more laid back you know but i can't say how i would react because actually i can i was um i took a copy of enchanted forest with me on holiday and we were holidaying with nieces and nephews and uh, i invited them to join me in coloring a page and my children had gone to bed and they were still up and they were a bit bored to be honest so I said come and colour with me and they did and uh, I nipped upstairs for some reason I'll to check on my children do some Naples yellow just for the ends of the petals and um, when I came down they'd finished the page that we were doing together and they had picked another page and just coloured it in without checking with me first and it was a page that I really wanted was looking forward to doing and I was like oh and I just went oh that's lovely really but I very quickly thought well actually it's really nice that they just wanted to colour in my book and it was a lovely time together it allowed me to get to know them a lot better because I didn't see a lot of them and they were really little and uh, so I just had to take it in my stride it was, yeah, I couldn't undo it, they'd done it and actually it was really sweet um, colouring and uh, it was, you know, and it wasn't a page that I'd started again so it didn't, it hadn't sort of messed with an idea I had really. I had another copy of the book which I haven't started yet actually but, uh, you know, so I know that I can do that page my way when I want to. Right, there are Flowers. This yellow is not as vibrant as I thought, but um, I think that's fine. Now the centres. I've got a centre here with no petals and these two centres, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of something with them. 
but I'm um, looking at the colours I've got and it could be a challenge. Let me just see what they are. Yeah, I think I can use this. Let's, let's see how it goes. Just sharpening. So this is the Terra Verde. Terra Verde? I don't know. And so I'm going to do at the bottom and around here. I want to make this look cylindrical or spherical, not cylindrical, no. And gently bring it in. It's not too bad. And the same with these, although um, they're obviously inside the flower, I think we could still get the same effect. So make sure it's quite dark on this outside and then quickly reduce the amount so that the very centre is almost white. If not white, it might be a little bit white. So basically lots of layers here, just a few here, less as you go towards the centre. with those now what I was going to do with those is add some yellow dots I have got this pen this is just my yellow Posca you might be able to do this with a jelly roll or I mean a, a gel pen sorry a jelly roll yes maybe but just any gel pen really and I'm gonna go over the top there are black dots on these I'm going to go over the top of them in this yellow. Don't worry if you're not 100% accurate. If you've got extra dots, that's probably a good thing. If you've left a few black ones, you can always go over them later. It's not, you know, an exact science. If there's a few black ones left still, it's fine. It just gives you a bit of interest in the centre there, I think. There we go. Now we have got the green um, stems to do. Just looking at what we have got here. Is that the emerald? That's mint, fallow, iridium. So we're all sea greens, of course. I think we'll use the same green, the um, terra verde, and it'll tie up a little bit. But we'll. Um, do that. And then here, and the same. So basically, at each end of the stem, at each side of that little bit there, and the same here, like that. And then down here at the bottom, I'm just going to hold my page still because right, we're right in the corner here, and it wants to wibble and wobble a little bit. So just a little bit. This one a bit darker. I'm going to go all the way down here, so it looks a little bit like shadow and all the way up here as well like that then up here and here that and then we're going to add in a different colour. We have the phthalo green which as I say is quite bluey but we'll see. There are some tricks. If you think the green, I'm going to go over all of it because that other one isn't very bluey and my idea is to try to make it a little bit darker down at the bottom and lighter towards the tip of the a leaf but we have a trick where we can make it less bluey and it seems a bit pointless you know pick the seascape set which has got the bluey greens in and now we're going to try and make the bluey greens less blue but it helps you to uh, a little trick so dark down here a bit lighter as we go up Oh, I'm going to do these stalks because I think I might forget otherwise. I'm just going to go across the whole thing. Because they're quite, uh, quite slim, aren't they? Around here. It, and then this one to finish. 
finish with. I don't know how well you can see that. My hand's in the way, I'm sorry. There we go. Now, I just want to smooth those out a little bit with the with the mint green, which will make them even more sort of bright. And then um, add our final touch. Just give it a sharpen because I'm going to start with these stems. I'm going to go right over the whole thing. I still don't want to press too hard because I've got another colour to go on top. So I need to be aware that I need to make sure that I can do that. If you um, press too hard, there isn't room for more layers because it's pushed the colour right down into the paper. I'm hoping I can pull off my idea. If I can't, these colours look okay. But hopefully um, we can have a little slightly different colour or shade it's still going to be green so my what I want to do is I want to try and make these leaves look a little bit more olivey green a bit more yellowy because olive green is more yellowy and so then it I think it will tone in better with the orange flowers so what I am going to do is to add some yellow, but I don't know how strong these castle yellows actually are. I'm not going to use the one I used before. I'm going to use the cadmium yellow. I used the Naples yellow before. This one seems like it might be a little bit darker. And I'm just going to sit a layer on top and hope that it sort of makes the green look a bit more olivey. I don't know if it just looks like there's a layer of yellow sitting on top of the green or whether it actually works, but I'm going to do them all and then we'll see how it looks. Um, sharpener, there it is. Can't see for looking. So, uh, oh, I need to make sure I do the stems, don't I? Feeling quite sleepy. I, don't know, I hope I'm not sending you to sleep. My boys always say my voice on my videos is really boring and it makes them want to go to sleep. <laughs> They're nice boys, really. They're just used to watching really exciting videos that sort of make them jump, things like that, which is not my... Uh, not my thing at all. I like calm and relaxing things. Let's have a look. I'm just going to sit back and have a look at that. I think it could probably benefit from a little bit of blending. I'm just going to grab my Prisma blender. I'm just going to scribble it. If you look at my blender, you can see the end. It's quite dirty. So I'm just going to scribble it on some rough paper. Well, this is paper I've been noting down things from my videos. I write down what colours I've used and what pencils I've used and things like that. There we go. So I scribble that. I'm going to um, sharpen it. And I think the stalks and things are okay, but I just want to have a little go on the leaves and just see if it draws it together a little bit more. It might not make a big difference because we have got quite a lot of layers there. But this is the Prisma blender. Any blender will work, I find, with some um, castles. I do find the Derwent blenders um, sometimes discolour things a little bit. They have a sort of yellowy colour to them, which is fine. It would have worked okay on this. But uh, if you want to do sort of white, if you're blending whitey, um, sort of whitey pink or light purple, it's not really ideal. But uh, none of the other blenders have that. Right, I'm just going to brush that. There we go. Now what I'm going to do just for this one to finish it off is to grab some orange Posca and do a few dots or dashes or lines, which I do. Um, I think I'll do some stars. We did a star template before, which was better than me drawing freehand, really. But I'm just going to show you how to do freehand. This pen doesn't want to work. I 
think it needs shaking, bear with me. There we go, I think that's working now. Yeah, you could use a felt tip pen, fine liner, something like that for this. But, uh, it's up to you. And of course you don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. I think that's enough, it's going to get a bit too um, too much. But this is quite a vibrant colour, but I think it's okay. But I'm a bit wary when I use it, a bit careful about where I use it just in case because of it being so vibrant. But anyway, that's us done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that was okay for you. Do have a lovely day and happy colouring.